Hey fans, welcome to another moment with Anne and I'm your real estate expert that can help you get the kind of property you need. So today I'm going to address another question which is land titles and documentations in Nigeria. Now land titles and documentations are very very important as as you're buying the land okay so while buying a land you need to know which title the land is which i always get questions all the time when each client call me and i want to buy land but what is the title of the land so i'm going to be clarifying a lot more in this video so that you will get to understand what you're buying and how to differentiate land titles though i made a video on understanding land titles in nigeria so if, you, if you've not watched that video make sure you try to watch it but in this video i'm going to be clarifying clients questions as regards to land titles now so many clients want to buy land at Ibejuleki of 850k 1 million that has c of o this is not visible please if you meet any realtor telling you you have you will be able to buy a land of 850k for c of o a b of c of o please run away oh, it is not genuine because the higher the title the higher the price so you've got to realize that first okay so that by the time you're looking for a particular property around one as is you would know that this is what you really want okay but if you are going to be buying a land that the title is not up to the kind of title that you want it either you are waiting for that estate to perfect their title or you are going for a already done title so it's in two ways okay so this video really broaden your mind into what land titles means and how to actually use them before you buy a property now but if you're new here please hit that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time we do a post right on the hatar tv and if you're a subscriber hey, hey hey thank you for coming back okay so let's just hit the nail on the head now the first document i want to talk about is the deed of assignment okay um some property just have deed of assignment and deed of assignment is a document that shows that the buyer has actually sold the land to you right and all the information about the land is right in there probably the buyer bought the land from uh what do they call it um from the community then so some of those information will also be stated there right in the deed of assignment and there are some other information that you are expected to see in the deed of assignment that is why you need to contact a professional realtor and get the right information okay that is one now the second thing that uh we call land title is the survey plan okay the survey plan is that document that shows the boundary of a parcel of land given to you it shows the measurement of that portion assigned to you this is the portion you are buying now there's what they call there are some document it comes in blue some comes in uh, pink so these documents are from the survey office of lagos like if you are buying in lagos there's what we call uh, survey general office in lagos so the documents will come from the survey general office and this document will include the name of the owner of the land survey that's you as the new owner the address and description of the land now when we talk about a a document have a um, deed of assignment and survey it means that by the time you have bought it your own deed of assignment is what you will have then the registered survey means that you can actually go through and do a registered survey on your land okay now doing that survey the documents you will get will come in like three piece right or four and it will contain the owner of the land the address of that particular place they surveyed it will contain the size of the land it will contain the drum portion of that land as is mapped out it will contain the bacon number it will contain the survey the survey or surveyors information who drew up that survey plan as at that time they need to have a stamp showing that it is free from government accusation now you can see why i tell you that if your property have deed of assignment and registered survey it's all good to go you know i always make mention of this and i'm sure you are now much more clearer on land titles right 
So the third thing I'm going to be talking about, like we've talked about deed of assignment, we talked about survey plan. The third thing I want to talk about is a session. Now, according to the Land Act of uh, 28th of March 1978, that is vested on every land of the Federation under the control of the state's governor the use the land use act coupled with other law i'm actually reading it from somewhere so that you will get the fact now the land use act coupled with other laws made it possible for the governor who was now the owner of all lands in the state to actually have the power to acquire more land compulsorily for its own public purpose to provide amenities for the greater good of the citizen I'm going to explain but let me read it out fortunately the government recognizes that the indigenous of different section of the country have a right to existence and a right to the land of the of these birds hence it is customary for state government to cede a portion of land to the original owners of each area now let's now move to when you mean that a land has been excised okay an excision means basically taking a part from a whole and that part that has been excised will be recorded and documented in the official documents okay all right now what i want to explain about excision now is that now governments normally they go to a community and get the land they need for some maybe recreational purpose or to create good amenities maybe road uh, garden they get that particular portion from the indigenous and they leave the rest for the indigenous to sell now for that particular process it is called a session so when you hear that a land has been excised or the land has an, an excision that means the process has been done correctly now when you hear that a land uh, a land is in process that means excision in process it means it is a process of government taking off some parts and leaving the rest for them okay that is the third one i want to point out now the fourth one is gazette gazette is after the government have taken their own portion there is an official record that needs to be recorded which is called gazette that process of government recording the fact that oh we have given we have assigned some properties we have taken some and left the rest for the communities or for the indigents to have that process is called decision but now for it to be gazetted it has to be recorded in a document and published and that document will be kept for future reference that process is called gazette so you've got to realize all of these things and how it works okay now let's now move to c of o okay c of o that all my clients will be shouting and i want land of c of o and i want land of c of o. <laughs> okay i want to tell you something that will shock you about c of o right the c of o document is good okay it's a certificate of occupancy issued by the lagos state government officially saying that they are leasing the land for you for 99 years please go through the land act of 1978 don't be lazy to look at all of these things if you want to buy a property you don't have to wait for a lawyer with your knowledge of knowing the right thing to do and speaking with a professional realtor you can acquire your property smoothly okay so go through these things and confirm it and get back to my channel to drop your comment now if you still want to talk to me my contact is below check the whatsapp link below and talk to me directly okay you can as well call me on the phone and make your inquiries all right so the government is actually giving you the land they will give you a certificate i'm giving you this land though for 99 years after 99 years i can come for it or i will give you bill to pay for it so that is C of O property for you. Now, even if you've gone, your children are taking over your property, all of these things can still apply. So you've got to realize when buying properties. Now, a C of O, however, is the official recognized document for demonstrating right of a land. It is very, very strong. Okay. That is why, even if um, the government definitely say, okay, they want to use this your land and create road. And you have a c of o or you have other strong documents even if it's gazette even if it's a session even if it is governor's concert they will definitely do a proper uh refund for you 
as as at the value of that property that's what some people don't know government can come in and say okay i want this your house go 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 but it is in a rare case i said there is oil on your ground <laughs> when there is oil there uh -huh. or that place was road you didn't confirm it before buying it in the first place so all of these things are things you should put into consideration before you invest into a property now the last one i want to point out is the governor's concert governor's concert is the highest title any property can have trust me when i tell you something just take it it's the highest title any property can have because it shows that the governor has already you know place his own writ his own signature on your land that you know what and let me give you this one you buy you buy them you buy and go <laughs> i don't know how to put it so the process of your property moving from the stage of maybe gazette or c of o into the governor's concert it means that it's more of a permanent kind of property not like the c of o that is for 99 years okay so the governor's concert is a good one and i always encourage my clients who really have that cash that okay i want to buy buy a property that has governor's concert it's good because you already you get your documents and um, you don't have to worry anything about it because it's been published it's, it's been it's been through other processes and it's good to go you can build on it you can have everything that you want right on that property now I've given you land titles and documents in lagos what are you waiting for you've got to call me right away and be asking me the right questions and making sure that you are buying the right property right here in lagos thank you so much for watching this clip if you know it has helped you please do a thumbs up by liking this video also share people you know it could help i know there are people out there who really need to understand this and learn one or two things from it you can always come back to watch this video chat me directly to keep good communication so that each time you want this video you can just chat me and you know what please send me the link of this video i want to watch it and understand one or two things that could help my knowledge as regards to investing into real estate in nigeria thank you so much i love you now and always make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time we do a post right on the heart of our tv don't forget to do a like on this video thank you i love you Bye bye